Good Friday afternoon. This is the 11 o'clock update on our tropical situation. We're tracking not only Tropical Depression Fred, but another potential tropical cyclone that could become grace before the weekend is over. So let me show you first the latest on Tropical Depression Fred, which is still very disorganized, battling some wind shear. And this has been interacting with land. It's been interacting with Cuba. So it's still looking very ragged and rugged this morning, but the track of this over the next couple of days, it's going to have the opportunity to thread the Florida Straits, go over the Florida Keys, and then get a little further away from land. So here are the forecast models. They're kind of in two different batches of kind of areas of thinking. Some of them bring this more like towards the Big Bend and up into central Georgia. And then other models try to veer it a little bit more west. So that westward shift and some of these models is kind of what the Hurricane Center has honed in on for their latest tropical track. And this is the track as of the 11 a.m. advisory passing over the Florida Keys with their tropical storm warnings, staying just off the coast of southwestern Florida, Fort Myers, Naples area, and then staying a tropical storm as it nears landfall somewhere near uh, Panama City Beach or the Emerald Coastline first thing Monday morning. Now this latest cone of uncertainty is shifting a little bit further west. This would keep the center of tropical uh, storm Fred or depression at that point just west of North Georgia but on the eastern side of that storm is where we would see the front of the impacts with heavier rains and the potential for some uh, storms as well so based on this we know that we're going to see enhanced rainfall chances the start of the work week the kind of extent of those impacts from Fred are really yet to be determined based on the track. We've upped the rainfall chance to 70% from Monday and Tuesday. This is the European model. This one has gone along with that shift a little bit further westward, so it's making a landfall first thing Monday morning, somewhere along the Emerald Coast, and then cutting into Alabama and kind of hugging the state line. So that's something we're watching very closely and we'll continue to update you on our potential impacts from Fred over the next couple of days. Also in the tropics, another area of thunderstorms that has uh, likely going to become our next tropical storm. So much so that the Hurricane Center has put out this next potential tropical cyclone seven track. They're saying that, you know what, the winds are getting uh, a little bit higher. The system has potential to become better organized and develop a closed low into a tropical storm as we head throughout the next 24 hours. So uh, if this becomes a tropical storm, which right now it's forecast to, then this will become great. So this is taking a track that is not much unlike Fred and not much different from where Elsa was tracking as well. But the cone of uncertainty towards middle of next week, taking this again, over Hispaniola, that kind of eastern side of Cuba, and then curving up to the north. And that would take a track maybe on the eastern side of Florida versus the western side of Florida. So the tropics are very much heating up, and we are heading closer to the peak of hurricane season. We're about a month away from it, September 10th. And right now we have Fred we're tracking and potentially going to have Grace as well by the middle of the weekend.